hello everyone and welcome back to this video series under isometric drawing so we'll be looking at isometric drawing in the course of this video and right now we are going to be looking at um, this is the 14th drawing we are looking at and we are going to be replicating this drawing so like i said if you are doing isometric drawing like this the first thing you have to do is to understand the drawing that you are asked to to draw so since you are replicating this you have to look at it closely and try to understand it so if you are to look at this you are having um an opening here and in this particular section you can see there is opening straight down and same thing happens straight down so let's just go ahead and uh, replicate this particular drawing and if you have been following so far that means if you have watched the last um the last set of videos you should be able to do this so what you can just do to help yourself is this you can go ahead and pause the video and attempt this even before watching me going ahead to replicate this and let me know what you're able to arrive with the challenges you face uh, in the comment section below all right so let's let me go ahead and start drawing so the first thing i would i would do i already have my my t square so make sure your t square is properly placed i do emphasize on that because it's very important make sure it's properly placed so let me go ahead and draw my horizontal line so i already have my horizontal line bring in your set square because that's these are the major things you are going to need the kit tools you are going to need when you are drilling with isometric drawing your t square your set square and then any other things so so i'll draw my vertical line so since the height of uh, of this isometric drawing is as high as 50 millimeters so i can just make my vertical lines also very long so from the point of intersection which is here have something like this so also from here I'm going to be having something like this so I'm using faint line and I hope you can see it So I just I hope you can see it. So now let's take measurements. So the distance from here to here is 70 millimeter, while from here to here is 50 millimeter. While the total length from here to here is 30. So let me take uh, those measurements. So so the total height here, that's the vertical height, is 50. So this is 50. Why the one here is um, 70? So this is 70. And then why this is 30? So this is 30. So one thing I can just do is since I'm measuring here is I can go ahead and just divide it into 3 because if you look at it, we are still going to have reason to divide it into 10, 10, 10. So let me just mark it one so that I won't need to start measuring it again. So, so I haven't done that. I bring it the set square and my T square. So from where I mark this 30, I'll draw a vertical line. And make sure your your T square don't slide under your I mean your set square don't slide under your T square. Draw this vertical line. So I'm still I'm still using faint lines. So from here, I'll draw it to touch. I'll connect the two vertical lines. Turn it the other way around. So from here, I 
and then from here so what is looking like a, a rectangular box everything you are going to be drawing will be within within this box so now let's let's do this so under measurement how you want us to take is this if you look at the distance at uh, the length from here to here is 15 from here to here is 15 the same thing applies here from here to here is 15 also from here to here is uh, let's see it's 35 so it's, it's 35 so let me take note of those uh, those measurements so this is 15 and then this is this is 15 and that is 15 and then let me take note of 35 let me take it from this point all right so i'll bring in the my set square and my t square again So, still with faint lines. Then from here, we are going to be having something like this. So, from where this line okay it's looking below it's looking for okay so from where this uh, line i've just drawn is touching this particular one i'll draw vertical lines down uh, from here so now let me make uh, the lines bold so that we can see the progress we've made so far Alright, so let me uh so let's go ahead and make some of the lines let's make it with construction line that's bold line so that we can see the progress we've made so far so and then this that is from here to here so let me do this side So from here, don't forget just this part you are going to make in bold. So if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. So you click on that like button and also subscribe if you are yet to subscribe. So this is what we are currently having. This place is looking this is where my uh, my flashlight is that's why this place is not looking very clear but if i should move it so if i should move my drawing board so you see that this is what it's looking like so. all right so now this particular part you can see that i didn't draw this line i didn't make this line bold yet and also this part i didn't make it bold yet because this is where we are going to be having this so for us to do this now let's let's go ahead and do this so i'll bring in my set square and my my t square so let's start with this with this particular part so we want to replicate this what we're having here this opening here let's say it is like it cuts straight down so we want to do that here so for us to do that remember that we've divided this uh, this uh, part from here to here which is 30 centimeter we divided it into three so what you are going to do is this you bring in your your t square and your set square So from the parts that from these points that we've marked, 
I'm going to be drawing uh, these vertical lines. So to come and touch the top of this one, so I can just go ahead and just make it with a bold line. So I'll repeat the same thing here. So as you can see, then you put your set square in this direction. So you just let it go in a bit because the distance from here to here is just five millimeter so you can just five millimeter something like this with a faint line i'm still going to measure it go inside a bit so another thing we can do is this since we are working with this part that means you are working with this part but the same measurement is what applies here and you can so you can just from this point here, we can also extend it inside, so, we just, so that we won't come back and start taking the measurement again. So, this line, let's just leave it like this. So now I haven't done that, let me just, let me now measure it. This is um, 5. So, so we have just measured that five. And now draw this line. Now from this point here, this point here, this is it here. It's the same point here. This is it. Here. We are going to be drawing another line down, a vertical line. So the line is not going to be straight down. So you say bring your set square like this. So from this point, you are going to be drawing a line to touch it. So, so now we can make this part that is five centimeter. We can make it bold. The line went too long, so. So now from this point to this point and then from here to here we can now make it bold. So if you have been following this video uh, from the beginning, you, by now you should know how to turn your set square uh, depending on the line that you want to draw so you should, you, know, you should know how to be turning your set square without having issues. So the next thing is for us to have this line like this. So that means from this point we are going to be drawing this line to touch this vertical line. And also the one at the at the base, so this be like this. So you can see we've been able to do to do that of this part. What we have here, we've been able to do it here. So now let's do the one inside for this part. So for us to start, since we already know that this is the point, we know this point. This particular point here so now from here so let's start from this particular point which is which is points here so uh, we don't even need to take the measurements so we're just going to draw a line like this still a faint line so we are going to draw another line from this point straight down to come and meet with this so that's why I said there's no need to measure it So now that we have this, so from these two points, we are going to be drawing the vertical lines.
So now let's measure. Remember, I just it went inside by five uh, five millimeter. So let me know the five millimeter mark. So that's the five millimeter mark. All right, so from here, so from here, draw the vertical line. from here so the five uh, millimeter you make it good so let me just move my drain board away from my flash my cameras flash so that you can see it So let me make the, this lower part. So with this now, you can see we already have, we've been able to, let me move it back, we've been able to replicate this isometric drawing, we've been able to replicate it here. So now the next thing I want to do is to uh, is to do the dimensioning. So that's it guys on this video, this is um, drawing um, 14, drawing, isometric drawing 14, I hope you find value in this video, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up, and um, I'll see you all in drawing 15, thank you.